everyone. It's been a while since I've been down here in the basement recording videos, building PCs for Smoke Technologies Inc. That's my company. You can go Google that. But I haven't actually made an engineering video. So today um, I'm going to make a half engineering video and actually bring to you guys a life-sized Aquaman Trident. I got everything measured out and ready to build using some PVC and a hacksaw. Make sure you stay tuned and sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alrighty everyone, so what did I do? What the hell did I even just say? Alrighty everyone, so what you want is to have two PV or at least two PVC pipes um, that are as tall as 1.5 meters and above. You want the actual um, prongs to be above your head. So I'm gonna measure these out and be right back. Now that I measured how tall my trident is, I'm gonna start hacksawing away, which might take me a while, so I will be right back for this part. Okay, now what you want to do, you see this thing over here, what you want to do is add this thing on um, to it. So it's a cross, like a four-way thingy, I don't know what you call it. You can find this in your local um, hardware store. I got this from Bunnings. Um, you need two of these for today. Now what you want to do is measure out five centimeters and let me think. So you want to measure out three five centimeters of this and add sort it out. Now what you want to do is make an at least 7.5 centimeter uh, indentation, which is, um, this is how much I got in the half saw it out. What you want to do now is to take the 7 centimeter line, and just, uh, sorry, not lines, uh, 7 centimeter uh, pipes and just stick them in just like uh, shown in a video. Make sure to use the good side just in case. Um, but as always, let's secure this in. Now here comes an easy part that is literally just shoving caps on the end of it and yeah. Now what you can do is literally uh, place one of this 5 centimeter ones, secure it in and put another cross right on top just like that. Now after you've done that is to just place another 5 centimeter on the side and um, another 5 centimeter on the other side as well. Now after you've done that is to just place another 5 centimeter on the side and um, another 5 centimeter on the other side as well. Now what you want to do is place 90 degree angled ones just like this on top. Alright, so I made 30 centimeter, two 30 meter, 30 meter, <laughs> I made two 30 centimeter indentations um, along this, so that would be two. And now the rest would be 40 centimeters, and those three um, poles, aka tubes, would be used for the, the prongs of the trident. I think that's how you say it. Now, with the new 30 centimeter stuff, you can start putting them in the sides. So then you can have the two prongs like that. And now the longer one can go in the middle, of course, making the trident head. Now, after you have basically completed everything, what you want to do is now insert caps, of course, on all the three prongs, just like that. Last but not least, the end, which you can also put another cap on and hammer it in. Now here we have it, Aquaman's trying to do it, it's so tall, like look at this, look at how tall it is compared to me, this is literally the top I'm touching, look at that. Um, there are some few minor adjustments I would make, and that is to swap out the 90 degrees for 245 degrees, uh, that way it of course looks better, but um, in my case I don't actually have any 45 degrees uh, at Bunnings, uh, they didn't have stock, so I just used the 90 degrees one, otherwise it would look way sicker, it would have more of a better curve up. And I think that's it. Next time I'm going to make this thing out of copper and make it actually a trident. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, of course, please like and subscribe. And one tip that I have for you guys, and what I will be doing on Instagram is spray painting this thing silver. If you want to see that, follow my Instagram at it's Harry Sue. And yeah, that's it. It's Harry here. Peace out.